For number two, if we have A equals the following matrix, we want to find E to the TA. So we can't just multiply, we can't just find E to the A and multiply T. We have to use a different process to find E to the TA. So the way we do this is, <clears throat> like we did in our concept video, we had E to the TA, and we split that up into E to the T times lambda i plus um, a minus lambda i and that became e to the lambda t times e to the a minus lambda i times t so um, now we need to find our eigenvalue lambda and continue with this. So to find our eigenvalue, we do what we've been doing in all the previous videos. We find the we find well what a minus lambda i is. And in this case that is one minus lambda zero 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 negative one and one minus lambda zero and negative one and then two zero one minus lambda 2 and 0, 0, 0, 1. <clears throat> so now um, we want to find the determinant of this. And remember, we can expand this determinant along any column or row. We want to do that on a column or row that has a lot of zeros, such as this column. So if we expand this out. We take this value here, 1 minus lambda, and we multiply it by the determinant of the associated submatrix. So that's when we cross out the row and the column, and we look at what's left. So the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus lambda, 0, and negative 1, 2, 1. Now we expand that. A matrix out further and we do that same process but we're going to use this row so we're going to take um, 1 minus lambda and then multiply that by the determinant of the leftover sub matrix and that's going to be 1 minus lambda 0 2 and 1 <clears throat> This is going to give us 1 minus lambda squared from these two times another 1 minus lambda. So it's actually going to be 1 minus lambda. And actually, this whole thing should have had an extra 1 minus lambda. So this is going to be 1 minus lambda to the fourth. So we want to set this equal to zero, and that gives us that lambda equals um, one. And this is an algebraic multiplicity of four. So now we now that we found that, we need to relook at what we're trying to find. You know that e to the t a equals e to the lambda t times e to the a minus lambda i times t. So since lambda is 1, we know e to the ta equals e to the t times e to the a minus i times t. So now let's expand a to the i minus t out. This is going to be it's going to equal the identity matrix. plus t times a minus i plus t squared over 2 factorial times a minus i squared plus t to the third over 3 factorial times a minus i to the third and so on. So we want to see for which power of a minus i this truncates. So 
First, let's find A minus I. A minus I is going to equal this matrix. So this clearly isn't zero, so we need to find the next power, a minus i squared. And if we multiply this out, we will actually get zero. So that simplifies our expression for e to the ta, because all the terms after a minus i squared will go to zero. So, or not e to the ta. This is a to the e to the a minus i t. So e to the a minus i t is therefore equal to um, <clears throat> i plus t times a minus i. That's going to be equal to this. And that gives us um, the e to the a minus i times t equals um, <clears throat> 1, negative t, 2t, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, negative t, 2t, and 1. But we want to find e to the ta, which equals e to the lambda t times that. So that means e to the ta equals e to the t times our answer.